think that could be a nice segue into talking about how you're doing monitoring with the machine learning models. And I know that there's a few things to keep in mind when you're monitoring machine learning models. You have to just make sure that everything's working properly. The system is up, but then you mm -hmm. also want to make sure that your models are, are doing what they said they put and they, they were going to do. And so are you using a third party just to monitor the system like Datadog or Instana or whatever it is? And then is that all in-house also? Or are you also, um, did you build that out? And how, how did you go about that? Yeah, great question. So yeah, when we look at monitoring, we look at um, essentially three things, I would say. One is the service monitoring. So just like you're monitoring any service. Uh, second thing is input data monitoring. So monitoring like what kind of data is coming into your machine learning models. Uh, and then monitor. And then third thing is like prediction slash like real re true value monitoring. And so on the service side, we we do we, we do use some some third party tools to help us out. Um, and this is used across our entire organization. Um, we use New Relic. I was just sorry. I was thinking to make sure that I'm allowed to say it, and we are. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we use we use New Relic, uh, which allows us to um, handle all the monitoring on the ter on terms of like service uh, side of things, and it's really similar to Datadog. Um, we I've used Datadog in the past, and it it works quite the same. Um, yeah, and, actually, and, and yeah, but Dan Sullivan from New Relic is going to be on here in about a month so i'll let them know <laughs> That's yeah very cool. definitely yeah we're, we're we're big supporters of new relic and it's worked really well for us so we're really happy about that um and then on the input data monitoring side of things what we're essentially doing is we look through our log stream we we, we, we log all of our input data going into our machine learning models so that can be logged to uh, our, our, our application logs. So that would be coming in through our log stream then. So, you know, we have some, we have different log streams for different use cases. So Kafka or our message bus or different other things like that. Um, and then the second place where we might log things is we, every prediction is also logged into a prediction DB. So it's, it sits in a database. We can query against it real time, allows us to do any sorts of like analysis, check on data drift, various things like that. And so um, because it gets logged to our, our log stream, we can develop some dashboards that allow us to look into data drift. What is our data distribution looking like for all of our features for this specific model? What is our prediction distribution looking like for this specific model for each version of our model that's sitting out there? Uh, how, is our, how are our A-B test results looking like? We can go also map these to true values later on uh, because our machine learning service obtain that endpoint. So if we can get the feedback real time, we do ask our our clients, hey, hit our hit our feedback endpoint. Let us know what the real value was, and that allows us to then map. Oh yeah, we made this inference. This is the input data. This is the true value. This is how well our model is performing, and that gives us a real time view into our model performance. In some use cases, we don't have that. And that's where, because we're logging everything to this table, whenever we do get that feedback, we ask our partners to also log the, that feedback into a table of sorts. And so we can set up some feedback pipelines that essentially map these inferences to the true values. We can then get some results of how well our, our model is performing. Usually it's like daily or weekly views. And then we just post it into a Slack channel. So Whoever this model pertains to, say our product managers, our clients, us, the ones that worked on the models themselves, um, are aware of, oh yeah, you know, this past week we saw an, we saw some downtick in performance. Probably we're get where we have to go look into this and see like what's going on. Or then we can maybe kick off an auto retrain process to just auto retrain our model if our performance dipped below a certain certain threshold. And so we have all these systems working in tandem with each other that allow us to monitor all three aspects uh, effectively.